Hey guys, so this uh, video I'm gonna talk about the LTX that's supported in Config UI and it's natively support. Then you can scroll down to see all the future it have and it's a Config UI native workflow. You can run directly LTX B model within Config UI and the performance is slightly better. So this is a step to uh, get it going. First step is to update your config UI. So go to manager, then update config UI. Then click on restart. Go back to manager and custom node manager. Search for LTX. It's going to come up with config UI. That's LTX video. Click on install, then restart. Click on the link in step number two to download the model for the LTX view. Place the downloaded model in model and checkpoints. For step 3, click on a link to download the T5X6L underscore FP16 and place the file under the folder models then click. Step 4 is to click on the link to get the workflow. Scroll down until you get to text to a video, then right click on the link that says workflow in JSON format and say save link as. You should have a workflow name like this. The advice for the prompt is that you should provide a movement in the early part of the prompt. So for my prompt, I asked to generate a man walk down a quiet street and that's lined with a house on both sides. The house has a small front yard with a flowering garden, blue sky, and some soft cloud. It generates a video way fast, probably like a minute, but I don't see the man in the video. It's just uh, some zooming slowly into the street. Next, in text to video, I ask it to generate a dog walk across the street. It generates way fast, everything I want in the prompt, except that you can see when a dog moves, then the leg kind of duplicated. The last uh, test for text to video is my prompt that uh, generates the downtown street scene. The output is um, everything is kind of distorted. Now let's try the image to video. So scroll all the way down. And right click on the workflow in JSON format and save the workflow. You should have a workflow file name like this. Try it to come for UI. For this test uh, image to video, I have an image of a uh, wave on the beach. And I got my prompt here. That's a gentle ocean wave roll toward the shore. And let's see what it output. You can see that uh, I would like to have the cloud move a little bit and then there's some wave here but this here stays static. So in this picture I loaded a woman and I uh, put that she gonna tilt her head slightly, blink, smile and then her hair is gonna move by a slight breeze. In the background we want the cloud to move a bit and the tree also gently uh, move when the leaf are rustling. So let's start a queue and let's see. Alright, so the output uh, I want the head to straighten up a little bit. She move head to the side. The hair did move a bit. Uh, the cloud uh, stay and the tree stay. For this test, I have an unnamed girl standing in front of the uh, town here with a cloud. And I'm asking it to, to walk across the street, smile warmly as she blink. Uh, overhead, the soft cloud drift across the blue uh, sky, and nearby the tree uh, sw sway gently in breeze. So let's see the output. So the output, uh, there's something uh, moving a little bit here. I detect a little bit of. Uh, change in color but there's no movement in the character and nothing changed really over here. So 
So I hope this video is helpful for you to set up LTX uh, in Comfort UI. Leave a comment below what you think about the generation for the text to video and image to video. If you like this video, click a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!